What is up everybody? Welcome back to Dad Ventures at Home. Today we got another cleaning video based off of my cleaning routine. Today we're going to be doing the ceiling fans and the fridge. Okay, so this is based off of one of my Thursday cleaning routines, which also includes the microwave and the stovetop. But I'm sure you guys have seen enough of those videos because I do, do that about twice a week. Now, that being said, we're going to start off with the fridge. Now, we used to do this every three weeks. However, I changed it recently just because the kids are starting to phase back into school for two days a week and it doesn't get as messy anymore. Now, if you're looking at my fridge, I'm wondering, why is it so empty? Don't you have five kids? Yes. Yes, I do. And you know what? This cleaning day is toward the end of the week and that's why it's a little bit empty. Five kids, man. I mean, as the week goes by, the food just diminishes and disappears. I am never going to financially recover from this. Now, I don't know if this is considered a deep clean because I do it so often, but I do get deep in there. So I guess it's a deep clean because I'm going to clean everything. So we're going to start off by taking all of the uh, little shelf panels off of the doors. I like to do it one at a time. So I'm going to clear all the food out of there and get these guys washed up and then wipe down the door itself. So they actually do get a little bit nasty just because kids stand in front of the fridge and they have the door open and bugs fly in and the bugs die because we live in Hawaii and there's a lot of bugs here and they like food. That's just what bugs like, food. It's science. Once the doors are done, I'll move on to the actual main part of the fridge and I'll do it one shelf at a time, clearing everything and washing the shelf itself and the back of the fridge or the inside of the fridge. Sorry about that, my nuts got on the way. Normally it's in the wife's purse, but. <laughs> Depending how nasty the shelves get, sometimes I'll just wipe them down with a wet paper towel, and other times I'll take them to the sink and wash the whole thing, because sometimes the kids will actually spill milk or juice or whatever the case may be. I'll also take this opportunity to remove any food that may be coming up in expiration and just get that all tossed out. Expired, expired, expired. So like I was saying, the bugs fly in here and they just die and they get trapped in there. And I'll clean the fridge as I see bugs in there, but I'll use my routine to actually clean the whole thing out and get under the drawers and all that nastiness. As you can see, it's gross. <sighs> then once I'm done with the inside, I'll move on to the outside and I'll just use one of these stainless steel cleaner thingamajigs, get it all wiped down and then come back over with a clean microfiber cloth and get all that residue off. And as you can see, there's a lot of swirl marks on here because when I first started doing it, I was just using a sponge and I had no idea what I was doing. I'm sorry. Then once this is all done, we're gonna move on to our next drawer, which is the ceiling fans. So I'll do the ceiling fans about once every five weeks. I know that might seem a little bit often. I know a lot of people wait months before they do it. However, we live in Hawaii and our windows are always open and the fans are always on for the most part and they just collect a whole lot of dust and they sometimes get really nasty. Now you can see ours is, there's some dirt on them or some dust, but they're not really nasty like other ceiling fans that you'll see. And that's because I do them often, every five weeks. Preventive maintenance. Do you have a ceiling fan? All right, now turn it off and look up. You need to clean that stuff, man. So my wife always asked me, why don't you use one of those ceiling fan blade cleaner thingamajigs? And the answer is simple. I don't know why. I don't like those things. 
they drop dust, and I rather just clean the crap out of it with some good old fashioned Lysol wipes and some pledge spray. So it's pretty simple. What I do is I'll just get my little step stool, climb on up, and I'll wipe all around the edges of the fan blade with a Lysol wipe because it does a really good job at cleaning it off. And then I'll spray the underside and the top side with some pledge and get that all wiped off. Now a lot of people will take this opportunity to actually clean the light fixtures and all that as well. But, however, I do not because I like to spread load my chores. So I actually just did the light fixtures of the ceiling fans uh, last week. So I'm not gonna do that when I'm doing this. This is just gonna be for the blades themselves. Some of the rooms are nastier than others. Uh, for example, the kids' rooms, they don't really use them because they get a lot more of the breeze than we do. So theirs isn't as bad, but I'm still gonna do it anyway because I am a creature of routine and I need to do it. If not, I'll lose my mind. Ooh. And once all four of the ceiling fans are done, my chores are done for this Thursday afternoon. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and drop a subscribe because I need subscribers. Right now I'm stuck at 68. So you know what happens at the next subscription, right? You nasty. Nothing, nothing happens. Just be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see you all later. Mahalo.